So actually, at first when I approached, I thought girls, and I just sort of thought to myself, my goodness, these are large ladies, but they're not. It's a bachelor herd of elephants, and they have pretty much obliterated two combretum trees next to each other. I mean, really, they, they totally have. There's hardly anything left of these poor trees that found themselves the center of attention of five large elephant bulls. There's something incredibly peaceful about a sighting like this. And it just goes to show that I will always put the needs of our viewers first, even if it means that it's a species that doesn't count in the competition. Munching and crunching away. Miss Jin, while we watch our Ellie balls size each other up and munch away at the bush willow, Miss Jin in Texas would like to send a big 4th of July shout out to all of her friends watching on YouTube. I hope you're having a new stream, sorry, not YouTube, you stream. I can't seem to get my words straight this afternoon. So a big shout out to all of Miss Jin's friends watching on Ustream. I hope you are having a marvellous day. And that these elephant balls make it even more so. All roughly around 20 years or just older, a couple of 25, some of the larger, the larger ones might be closer to 25, even up to 30. Beautiful gentlemen. Oh, trunk full of sand. And I wish I could have been at Arethusa Dam when all of these gentlemen were having a mud bath because it looks as though some of them went right in to the dam itself. There's one elephant bull that I always look for whenever I come across groups like this. I haven't seen him in a really long time but I think he has been seen on a couple of the live safaris. There's an elephant bull with a really ragged ear and a completely dislocated or broken right hip. And he still walks on it. I think it's healed up. And he just walks with a limp because his one leg is longer than the other. But there's something very special about that particular elephant bull. And I haven't seen him in a long time. And the reason he comes to mind now is this is where I first saw him many months ago. And it's amazing how used to or, or how familiar you become with the different animals in the area the longer you spend looking at them and I think because we look through the eyes of the camera we actually are more aware of the nuances of each individual animal. I think boy that that bush willow is pretty much done for. It has been well and truly stripped. This is what we were talking about this morning on the sunrise safari. The fact that with this drought we might actually see a change to the habitat completely. It will have an effect on it that will last for many, many years. And that's particularly because the elephants of this area, because there's no grass, or nutrients within the grass, they're going to be targeting trees more and more frequently and clearing large areas of land. And if you combine that with the fact that the Kruger National Park has closed a whole load of its waterholes on the western boundary, so the boundary with the Sabi Sands, we're going to be seeing more elephants as well coming in search of water. So this drought could actually shape this environment for years to come. <laughs> 